Well, good day, friends, and welcome to the finale of our Battletech Heavy Metal DLC. Let's play as the Erwin Taipans Mercenary Company. And yes, we are in the last day, literally the last day, of career mode. And uh, we're finishing off with a flashpoint called the Long Hunt. And uh, it was. <clears throat> Uh, it's an interesting one because it's three consecutive deployments. Um, so, yeah, we we did we've done two of them, and we're on to our third now. Although with our assault lance and our um, our alpha lance, it's it's pretty pretty easy. Um, I gotta say. Although having said that, if you do. Uh, I think the one we just did, if, if you you can mince that up pretty badly. Um, I think my first time I barely got through the second one, but the third one I, I kind of got lucky and uh, approached it from the direct um, the correct point. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Uh, it's it's an interesting one. Um, now, yeah, going back to the uh, Maric Alliance flashpoint, it has popped up again, but of course we won't. We just don't have time to get back there, of course. But uh, yeah, sort of going over that and realised that uh, yeah, I definitely did approach it from the the wrong direction. With that one, especially the first mission, um, you need to come in, you need to go right around and come in uh, sort of from the, well, say from the left, but from the, uh, from the west and head in sort of east and take out that quick draw. Because that quick draw is the one with the sensor lock. Take him out, um, you know, quickly and you should be able to you know finish that mission so I probably am gonna have another crack at uh, career mode um, you know uh, while not recording obviously and uh, see if I can do any better than uh, than I did this time around I'm almost certain I can now that they've got the uh, the mini campaign um, I'm, yeah, I'm almost certain I'll be able to absolutely smash that score. Um, you know, and as I said, you know, second, well, second time is usually better, third time is a charm. <laughs> so maybe it'll take me to my third, third attempt, but yeah. Definitely not, not the worst I've done in career mode, but definitely nowhere near the best. So, um, but as I said, we were focusing on the story of the Irwins, so... Anyway, I'm going to stop gas bagging and like I said, what we've got to do is we've got to actually head up around this way, use a lot of the forest and should make, should RNG gods uh, permitting, make it a lot easier for us. Oh. So we've got this road we can use as well. Sure I'm yep, I am recording. Good. <laughs> so, did I hit record? Yeah, I did. Um, anyway. Position confirmed. So use confirmed. as much of the forest as you can. There we go. Enemy detected. So you want to stay in that cover as much as you can. Because not only does it give you damage reduction, it makes you hard to, to see. So they actually, I think that's a cataphract if I... Yeah, I think they've got pretty standard mech configurations. Now oh, what have I done? I should have sprinted. Oh well. You know what? I might actually might do a sensor lock. Yeah. Just so I can get a, a look at what it is. Yep. It's a cataphract. So, we'll take a shot at him. Here we go. Oh, 
just uh, knock him around a bit. Alright, so this is a quick this quick draw. I remember last time I did this actually gave me a little bit of trouble. <laughs> so. Ready for orders. Uh, and I think there are some Orions involved in this as well, and a Banshee. There are reinforcements, so... There is, I do believe there is a Banshee involved. Sure, headshot, let's go for it. Mm, yeah, not bad. I mean, he is braced, so... All right. Waiting for orders. Well, I think I'm glad I did it this way. Taking the shot. Oh, not quite a knockdown. Damn. Reporting critical hit. That was actually a good hit on me. Warning. Armor low. It was. Definitely a good hit. Uh, hmm. Maybe I should get an indirect fire. Alright, let's do it. Steady again. No, that's the Orion there. No, it's not. Or well, actually, it may be. I'm not sure. Hmm. Receiving you. So I just keep jumping around. Oh wait. You know what? I'll keep him in the back there. Well, is he able to get him? Yes, he is. Three injuries he's had now. It's a damn quick draw. I think we'll be right though. Well, it's a good opportunity for a precision strike. Engaging jump chat. So Headshot. Damn. Take that. I don't know any time this time. I don't know if it's a vector. Might be an awesome. Yeah. Sure, anyway. Copy that. Let's take out this cataphract, shall we? I'll try and get him there. Here it comes. Oh, nice. Target neutralized. That works. To a jump. Wait, which side is that? 
That is the yep, the right arm, so I'm gonna do this. So like that. It's gone. Enemy mech destroyed. Receiving you. Right, since a lot of time. Yeah, so this is the the handy thing about jump jets. Sensors locked on. Yeah, that's an Orion, alright. Cannot get a shot on him, but jump, sprint, doesn't matter. On it. May as well jump and brace. Receiving you. I'm gonna do. Nah, just gonna brace. There he is. Taking off the evasion, huh? Hmm. Receiving you. You know what? Got it. I think I want to get. See what this is. That's a Zeus, is it? Yeah, it's a Zeus. Okay. All right then. Yeah, let's do this. Headshot. Yes. Yes. Enemy mech destroyed. Well, don't wanna standing by jinx myself, but I did wanna end it on a high note. Heading out. Oh, what? Scored a critical hit. <laughs> nice. Orders. Ah, damn. Damn, I have to get out of cover. Orders. Alright, let's knock him over. Now let's see, can we kill him with a headshot? Possibly. I think it's going to be too much though, but... Oh, what the hey. Oh well. Brace him there. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. I am certain we have reinforcements here. Almost certain. Hmm. 
Maybe we don't. On it. Huh. Roger. Your day of reckoning is cross at hand, Riz. For Abraham Kobayashi and hundreds of others, your mother and Shaukara. You're coming with me to the Combine, and there, you will pay for what you have done. The asset has been secured, and is ready is that it? Retrieval. Okay, I thought there were reinforcements, but there you go. Alright, so... We'll finish up by... Spending our experience... Um... Selling some spare max, selling some weapons, see if, how much we can get our score up to. Uh, so we're at next. So we've got our choice here. Uh, I think I'll take the Zeus. This is something better. Surprisingly, there isn't. That is strange, but anyway. There we go. Let's see what we get from it too. Uh, so we do get our payout, then we get the items. Yeah, we can just sell a bunch of stuff. So yeah, that'll be nice. But yes, that was the long hunt. Uh, still do have our conclusion here. You know, a little chatter. And that was over rather quickly, like, uh, like 20 minutes. <laughs> I don't know if it's worth this. Yeah, I definitely don't want to do this one skulls and that, that are in the system. Anyway, let's put away the Zeus. Oh, well, you've done it, Commander. As we speak. Riz is pounding his fist bloody in my dropship's brig. The arrogant bastard's composure has cracked. He screamed himself hoarse, but to no avail. A monster has uh, been cornered, and assorted people are soon to be avenged. I raise my grass to you all. Anyway, look at that. He's drinking again. That doesn't warm your heart. Nothing will. Yeah, mate. Glad to see things are getting back to normal. Oh, no more enough, Commander. Of course, in the grand scheme of things, nothing has changed. Reese is just one man in a galaxy of troubles, and he's a small one at that. But on a personal level, I feel a great wrong has been set right, and I, feel I have you to thank for it. Well, you can thank us with sea bills, Shugo Yamaguchi. Now, Max soaked up a lot of fire over the course of this deployment, and repairing them won't be cheap. <laughs> Of course, Miss Maya. You will receive everything you have negotiated for as well as a healthy bonus. Enjoy the spoils of your efforts, Commander. You have earned it. Shigeyamiguchi's image flickers then winks out. Well, that was a hell of a thing. Yes, it was. At the end of the day, we delivered Lee's to Shigeyamiguchi. Thanks to us, Hell's Curita gets to do what it pleases with, uh, with a remorseless war criminal. That's about a clear win, as clear a win as we could ever hope for. It's a win for everybody. A butcher of innocent civilians has been as uh, a butcher of innocent civilians soon to be dead, and we helped lower the noose around his neck. I wish that every day on the job was this satisfying. That's uncharacteristically vengeful of you, Doc. Don't get me wrong, it's good change, but I'm a little surprised. Oh, don't be. His right to my sympathy disappeared the moment he turned his guns on civilians. The galaxy will be better off without him. Well said. Well, let's get back to it, everyone. There are clients out there in need of mercenaries. And we got bills to pay. Main sea bills. Nothing to scoff at. Leg mod. Heat bank triple plus. It's uh, nice, but... Mm. Yeah, another AC5 triple plus. 
Uh, so not bad. Oh, we finally... Oh my god, we got a Highlander 732B. Oh man. Oh man. Well, shit. Right in the last mission. Ah, uh, we'll send it to storage, but yeah, wow. I don't think it was fully equipped though, because uh, we, we've got this set to non-equipped max, but I'd be interested to have a look. So we're going to the bays. And let's go to components, equipment. I don't think we... Heat sink? No, we didn't. No double heat sinks. Let's go to weapons. Uh, ballistic. No extra gas rifle, no extra gas ammo. So, yeah, unequipped. But still, still, that's, that's a good pickup. Alright, uh, let's go to the store then. Sell up what we can. Um, so, let's get rid of what commando here. New equipment available. Oh, what did I do? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Sell, not buy. <laughs> I just bought a commando part. <laughs> oh dear. It's just not with it today. Yeah, as you can Wow, it's more than I thought. It's nearly three million for a bull shark. Alright, well, we've already got one of those, so let's sell that. Uh, da, 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 da. What else? What else? What else? Yeah, catapult K2. Sell. And. We didn't get a 10Q, which is. Yeah, it's kind of disappointing, but what do you do? Um. Yeah, that one's nice. It's a nice Highlander, um, but didn't get to use one. We got it right at the end there, so uh, thunderbolts. No, we've pretty much sold everything we can, now, except for the Zeus, of course. There we go. So I want to sell that. That's ninety-six. Uh, million. So, sell a few of these. I mean, I, I will keep some in stock, of course. So, uh, will we use any of these AC2s? I don't know, but I'll keep them around. I mean, not that I'm going to be playing this anymore, but. We'll sell, just sell a bit of everything. Sell some ace tens. Keep, keep four of those. Um, we've got seven of these. I don't think we need that many, so I'm going to keep two. I see twenties. Let's keep four of those. And these AC twenty triple pluses. Ah, I'm gonna keep them because why not? And I don't know about these infernos. Didn't really get to use them. So, oh wait, large lasers. Hang on a sec. Let's keep six. Up to 97 million now. Uh, yeah, all this LBX stuff. Let's keep know, four of those. It's a little bit of cash for us. Then the LRM 10s. It's the uh, same again. Keep four. Fifteens, keep four of those. 
Every little bit helps. Oh, twenties, keep four of those. Let's forget the medium lasers, oh my god. <laughs> Let's keep ten. Wow, only five hundred thousand. Will we crack the hundred million? That's the question. Oh wow, okay, we'll keep four of these. Uh shall sell two of these. Oh. Alright. And what else we got? MGs, uh which I never use them, but I'll keep four of those I guess. PPC, same again, keep four. Um, oh, look at the small lasers. Now, I, I do use these a bit, but actually, I'm gonna keep six. And the rest, yeah. Should, actually, I'll we'll probably have a heap of, yeah. Heap of SRMs. Uh, same again, kit 4. Yep. Same with you. Oh my god, 99 million. I'm, I don't know if we can do it, but. I mean. I'm not even going to use those, so I would, I'd never use those, so goodbye, our mod, sell, goodbye, our mod, sell. All of these are going. All these are mods. Goodbye. Goodbye. Cockpit mods are always handy to have. Uh, Com system, exchanger plus, gyros, uh, heat banks. Oh, heat sinks. Okay. Um. Twenty of them. Yep. Sell those. Quite a few heavy jump jets. Um, I don't know. Same again. Keep ten. Yep. Only two assault jump jets, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, keep ten of those. Oh, we're nearly there. Right, leg mods can go. Uh, same with you. Uh, range finders, TTS, I never use either. Very, very rarely, if I ever use them. Oh, uh, we cracked the hundred. Nice. Yep, so. Uh, ammo? I don't normally sell ammo, but I mean, like, things like this. Like, we don't need 50 of them. Keep, I don't know, 12. There we go. SRM ammo, so again, keep 12. And there we are! Cracked the 100 million. So all there is left to do is check the mech warriors, or the ones we have, and we didn't get to the magic number of 24. Which is a shame. Ready for orders. It's a damn shame. It was quite close to getting uh, being a Training full ten. 
Not quite there though. Commander. I don't think Ulysses will be either, no. Mech warrior training. Pretty good at telling gunnery, so that's always a good thing. Very highly skilled uh, crew, anyway. Uh, let's see. Alright, well, let's see if that made any difference uh, to our score. So, 373,000 all up. Um, so, yeah. We lost a bunch of reputation with House Davian, unfortunately. We are still all allied with them, though. So, you know, I guess that's a good thing. But, uh, yeah, we're enemies with the Lyrans, the Capellans, Draconis Combine, the Torians, and the Pirates. Anyone who's kind of. Well, they don't really like us. The Magistracy of Canopus, and we are liked by the Arana Restoration, although that doesn't really count towards anything. So. Yeah, we did alright. Can't complain. And let's for the timeline get our final score. I've got the financial report. Oh no. You son of a you SOB, anyway. Know what days remaining. Oh come on. There we go. Alright, so we've got a rank of veteran. Um, Seabills didn't come anywhere near the required amount. So it looks like we need to get like. Uh, uh, to get that full 60,000, we'd need to get 500 million Seabills. Next chassis, we got uh, full score. Mech chassis completion we didn't get though, so there must be another unique mech out there that I wasn't able to nab. I mean, I got big steel claw, so I don't know why. Eh, anyway, it doesn't matter. So. What do we get? Okay. More of this stuff. Yeah, what it, something I don't like about career mode is like like at least have some kind of cool little cinematic where because <clears throat> um, it says at the beginning right that you know the MRV is looking for you know worries in an upcoming conflict or something to that effect have a cool little uh, you know, cinematic or you know. Even if it's one of their standard ones, you know, where you're just like, okay, you've been selected for, you'll be fighting um, in this part of the war, or, you know, you'll be a front, you're a veteran, so you're okay, you're going to be a frontline troop. You get to legendary status, alright, you're going to be, you know, coordinating uh, troops or something, you know, so, something to that effect. Um, you'll be commanding all these other. Uh, mercenary lances, so blah blah blah, like, and you get to legendary, yeah. But it's nothing like that, uh, which kind of makes it feel, I don't know, a little bit incomplete. Oh, I lost. How did I lose one morale? Oh, oh well. But yeah, my final thoughts. Um, all right, heavy metal DLC is not bad. I really loved the mini campaign. That was fantastic. Um, really enjoyed that. Uh, some of the, the new mechs are nice. Um, did feel that some of the changes made with this new DLC, um, some of the changes made to existing flashpoints, are a little bit unbalanced. Um, and you know, I kind of get that that was as a result of other 
portions of the game and, and other mechs being unbalanced at the time of their release. So yeah, it still needs a bit of work but I have no confidence now that this is officially the last DLC we'll have for the Battletech game, or so we've been told. Um, I have zero confidence that, that those issues are going to be sorted. Um, because, um, I mean, the good news is now we have modding support. We should see some really nice uh, custom campaign stuff, which would be awesome. Um, I'd love to see some more player made um, uh, custom uh, campaigns or mini campaigns or flashpoints. Uh, some of the other stuff that's coming out uh, or being worked on at the moment. You know, we'll have full star maps, which is something that a lot of people have been screaming for for a while. And of course, uh, the kick, uh, the arguments I've had with some of the Kickstarter backers are like, oh, well, you should have been a Kickstarter backer. Here's the problem with that. All right, little, little known fact, uh, there was virtually no advertising for the, the upcoming release of Battletech in Australia. Didn't even know it was coming out until the day it came out. I mean, I bought it the day it came out, but I was like, oh, Battletech, cool. Had no idea it was coming out. How am I meant to back something that I'm not even aware that it was coming, that it was on the table? So, um, yeah, very, you know, uh, localized sort of backing, um, you know, particularly with the larger or more populated parts of the world, like Europe and uh, the US. But yeah, in Australia, most people didn't even know it was uh, it was being released. So, you know, in my defence, how can I how can I uh, back something that uh, didn't even know it was coming out? There was no news of it whatsoever here, unless you actually knew to go find it. Um, in which case, like you'd have to know first and then go seek it out. But uh, yeah, there was nothing here. Um, you know, unless you're an avid re reader of, you know, um, you know, PC gaming magazines or, or articles, which I'm not really, and I've never been a huge fan of, uh, say, Paradox. But even then, like when it was when this game was coming out, uh, Paradox had nothing to do with H HBS. It wasn't until sometime after they released this game that, um, you know. Um, that uh, the Battletech came, game even appeared on the Paradox website, so yeah. Um, so a lot of the old Kickstarter backers were like, well, at least the vocal ones were like, oh, well, we don't want this and we don't want that. And I was like, well, hang on a man. Like, just because you're a Kickstarter, like, it's great, you help get the game off the ground, but we're still paying customers, man. Like, <laughs> and, um, you know, we, uh, <clears throat> especially if you're a Battletech fan, you're like, <coughs> we want more of the lore, we wanted more of the, you know, a decent, like a full-sized star map, why couldn't we have that? And so, hopefully now with the modding support, I mean, it sucks you have to rely on the modding community uh, for that, um, but, you know, it's better than nothing, so... Uh, just excuse me one moment, folks. Sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, that will be good. Um, I gotta say, I'm not particularly impressed with Rogue Tech. I do like the expanded star map on that, but I don't like a lot of the mechanics. Um, I do like how some of the old style mechanics was brought back in, but then I feel as though some of it was just, you know, overstepping the boundaries and uh, just got into the realms of ridiculousness. Um, although, what's that one? Um, uh, 30. Sorry. Um, 3062 or 3026, sorry. Um, the new one that's the new mod that they're working on. That looks pretty good. Um, Oh, there again. I don't like some of the other. The I have issues with other mechanics in that one. So what I'm really looking for is just an expanded st a star map with some player-made uh, flashpoints, uh, pl 
multiplayer made you know mini campaigns and even maybe a, a map editor like some kind of map editor would be great where it would you know along the lines of like uh, Starcraft and Starcraft 2 where you could easily you know make your own scenarios and, and whatnot um, so that would be nice but uh, yeah I'm not gonna hold my breath on that one um, that's been brought up you know countless times on both Steam and the Paradox uh, website and the answer we get is just oh there's no plans for that well, it's like well why can't you make plans for that oh because that's just not happening so <laughs> hang about uh, so yeah I mean HBS have made a great game but yeah I really take issue with the fact that it's like no this is what we want to make we don't care what you want we're making what we want and either you like it or you can piss off that's that's pretty much the attitude that that we get um, so uh, but they did a good job with this DLC uh, urban warfare I felt was a l very overpriced for you know what you got you got some nice biomes and stuff but it was really felt very um, very lacking uh, not really a heck of a lot in the way of um, like some of the extra mechs are nice and all that but uh, yeah a um, couple of flashpoints nothing really to nothing to really rave about and the original the flashpoint DLC was probably their best DLC but uh, heavy metals probably I'd say my second favorite my least favorite would be the urban warfare although of course you need uh, urban warfare to be able to really utilize the um, the uh, heavy metal DLC so all in all yeah probably still I don't think it's still worth the $30, $30 price tag I'm talking Australian dollars here by the way um, or uh, 20 bucks if you're in the US so I don't feel it's worth that sort of money um, like I don't think any of the DLCs are worth 30 bucks um, in fact I got this game super cheap when it, when it came out um, I got really lucky got it on um, promotional some promotional thing so yeah I tended to wait until I could get it uh, you know as cheap as possible but with the, the exception was the heavy metal DLC which I did pay for price for though at least with this one I don't feel like like I felt the others not so much Flashpoint, but definitely Urban Warfare. The thirty-dollar price tag was a complete ripoff. Um, no ifs or buts. It just it just was. Um, this one I just think is a little overpriced, uh, as I do with all of them. Um, but you know, I'm not left with a complete total bit of taste in my mouth I really enjoyed the mini campaign so you know uh, and I probably will play it again so the replayability factor is there um, uh, yeah look if, if it was about $20 Australian fair enough I think that's a reasonable price but I, d I definitely do not think $30 is reasonable um, and there's no change in my mind on that <laughs> it's just uh, it's not reasonable it's just not um, so yeah I if if possible I would wait for sales maybe even get it, get it through a third-party seller if you can get it a bit cheaper um, I really thought it's uh, it was a bit of a low a low point where uh, you know HBS and paradox deliberately waited until the day after the Black Friday sales had finished uh, to to drop the heavy metal DLC just so that they didn't have to give any kind of discount so that really set that it, that kind of really says it all regarding Paradox and HBS so um, good game but yeah some of their attitudes and practices are, are leaving me thinking I don't 
think I'll be buying another HBS title, unless it's something I'm a huge fan of, like Battletech. Um, so I was thinking about buying the Shadowrun game, you know, give that, giving that a go, but I don't think I'm going to be bothering now. Um, yeah, so I'm just glad I've got this, and now you know, hopefully the modding community can do something with it to make it an awesome game because it's it's good, but it's not awesome. It's definitely not like wow. Uh, so yeah, hopefully the modding community can make it the game it should be. Um, and those are my pretty much my final thoughts on on the DLCs and the game on the whole. But yeah, let me know what you think. Do you think it's worth uh, the the? Uh, I mean, I think I saw f full price uh, for the base game is about uh, fifty eight dollars Australian. So do you think it's worth that? Um, do you think the DLCs are worth the thirty bucks? Um, you know, thirty dollars Australian. Um, and if you do. You know why do you think it's worth that? Um, especially when you compare it to other other titles, um, you know, similar titles. Um, I mean, I, I'll give an example. Uh, I'm a big fan of Space Engineers, which, by the way, we'll be picking up on that again um, on the 10th of January. So we'll be getting back into Space Engineers. Well, at least doing the live streams. I may do some pre-recorded stuff. Getting my daughter into Space Engineers, actually. She's loving it. Um, not so interested in this game. So, uh, but, you know, kids. Uh, kids that age, she's like nine, so she's not interested in turn-based stuff anyway. But uh, might do some pre-recorded stuff on that. Um, before the, t the 10th, just sort of showcasing, you know, what she thinks of the game and excuse me and you know my teaching see uh, see how my teachings going of space engineers but um, with that game when it came out now we got that that was done differently that was done as a pre-alpha so if you wanted to be a backer of that game you just bought the pre-alpha you supported it um, you know uh, you told all your friends, and they, I think the price tag, and it's still $25 Australian. Like, and the sheer amount of stuff you can do in that game. Like, when you started out, you couldn't do that much. It was just Minecraft in space. It was literally that. Um, but with a lot, lot less options. It looked a lot nicer. But it's come out a long, long way. They've put so much work into it. Didn't ask for it. Didn't make DLCs for the longest time until after the full full release. Um, and even then, the DLCs that they have are like the cost of a large McDonald's meal. So <laughs> when you look at Keen Software House, and then you look at HBS Paradox, it's sort of like, hmm. Uh, yeah, I, look, I personally think Space Engineers is a little underpriced, but, you know, that's just me. They probably could have, particularly on release, they probably could have got away with upping the price just a little bit, say maybe to $40 or something like that, but they didn't. They stuck with a $25 price tag. Um, actually, I think it's more like 28 now. It's sort of adjusted a little bit, but, yeah, I mean just shows the, the, the contrast there um, I mean and even with games like I don't know um, well, let's take Starcraft 2 I know a lot of people on the Paradox forums have, have compared Starcraft 2 the editor the map editor and all the stuff you get with that um, now the counter to that has always been, well, this is a small team, um, they, you know, last time they, they had a map editor and modding support was with Shadowrun, and it cost them all this money, blah blah blah. Well, here's the thing, like, when I first got StarCraft 2, that was $90 just for the first part. And then I think every part after that, because I didn't get the uh, season pass, uh, it was like sixty dollars. So the part two was sixty bucks. Part three was sixty bucks. 
So, but you can do so much with that. You, you play your campaign, you can play some PvP stuff, and then you can go into your map editor, make your own stuff to your heart's content, you know, and then uh, release it. So, uh, that game's always had the potential to make your own campaigns. And this goes back to not when, it first, when it first came out on PC, back in 1998. Um, <clears throat> another title is Armor 3. With, uh, you know, Bohemia Interactive, I've got my issues with them, but their map editors on their games uh, are top notch. So, uh, I think I paid like 60 bucks for that when it first came out. Actually, I th no, I got it cheaper. I got it on a sale. It was like 40 bucks. So, now they are a pain in the ass with their, their DLCs. The deal, they, they're still releasing, this game came out in 2010, they're still releasing DLCs for that game. Um, but some of them are definitely not worth the money. There are others like, um, I think the latest one, Contact, it's got a whole new campaign. Um, that one looks really interesting. Um, the last one they did, you know, they they kind of learned from their early DLCs. So, while they could be a little bit pricey and a bit of a pain with their DLCs, they do listen to their community. Um, so, you know, I know they hate, I know Paradox and HBS, the people there hate being compared like they told they hate their titles being compared with other games particularly of other genres but my counter argument is well maybe you could learn something from them and you know rather than just be outright dismissive like take it on board take on the criticism instead of being just like well this is what we wanted to make so either like it or piss off because that that's that's pretty much the attitude uh, that that I get, which I can understand why a lot of people who play this game just don't go onto Paradox forums because it is a little bit toxic in that in that regard. Having said that, <clears throat> they did a really great job considering it's the Unity engine. I've got to give them full credit for that. Full yeah, total kudos for for being able to make a semi decent game with the Unity engine. Um, I can't think of any other titles that, that can make the same claim. Uh, on the downside, it's the Unity engine. So, <laughs> so yeah, while they did a great job with it, I, uh, I just still scratching my head over that one. So, um, yeah. Uh, other thoughts on it? Uh, really lacking in voice acting. Although... I think with the the re most recent DLC, they did listen a little bit to the community. What they tend to do, what HBS tends to do, is try to make compromises. Um, and so I think with the uh, Urban Warfare DLC, people were screaming about, we want a, a map expansion. So what they did was they didn't actually expand the size of the map, they just added more star systems into the existing one. And then uh, with this one, people were crying out, well, we want campaign expansions. We want to play more story-based stuff. And of course, you got... See, they're, they're, I think they're trying to walk a tightrope here because they don't want to upset their Kickstarter backers who are like, no, we want it this way. We want just battles and 